YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. Wow, sun is shining. And so have the Ravens been today. What a great day for the Ravens. And they didn't even make any moves or anything like that. They just spoke about stuff that, that's going on. And that's what we're getting ready to do right now. Um, but what I wanted to talk about was Michael Crabtree's comments on Dez Bryant. And we're, gonna, of course, going to talk about some other stuff, too. What's up, Logan? Uh, but that that did stand out to me, and I had to make sure we did a video on it um, Because Michael Crabtree when they asked Michael Crabtree about Des Bryant and about the possibility of getting him on the team Michael Crabtree said he said I'm not talking about that He said I, I don't talk about somebody that could potentially be on the team. He said it ain't no point in getting into all of that and Honestly him especially being a player uh, Can you blame him? Even as even some fans that don't like talking about that stuff, that's fine too. You can't be mad at people for that. That's why I had absolutely zero problem with his comments about that. Zero problem. Um, hey, make sure y'all leave a like on the video too, man. Put that thumbs up button. We, how we got 25 people in here but only two likes? But anyway, with Crabtree, uh, I wanted to dig a little deeper about those comments though because um, one. Yeah, while I agree with him that he didn't want to comment on the possibility of getting theirs too, um, which could be very nice. It could work out uh, in both of their favor because they could help each other, um, get, not necessarily get better, uh, but they could help each other with coverage. We well, gonna can create problems. Both of them can create plays, and both of them can create possible mismatches. Because um, like I keep saying, if we got both theirs, Brian and Michael Crabtree, it could be a one A one B. Um, cause they, cause think about it. Think about it. If one of them, if we only had one of them two on the team, which we do now, obviously, we only got Michael Crabtree, so he's our number one receiver. Think about it, if we only had Des Bryant, he would automatically be our number one receiver, based off of what we got. Um, and this still don't change the fact that I want them to draft a receiver early. Uh, so that ain't that ain't that ain't take nothing away from that. What's up, Jameer? Um. Everybody that came through, appreciate y'all coming through, man. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, too. Make sure you subscribe and turn your notifications on so you don't miss any of the videos, whether we go live or whether we do a, um, a regular video or whatever. Subscribe and leave a thumbs up, man. Click the thumbs up button. Um, but anyway, uh, Michael Crabtree, I think his comments meant a little more than what he meant them. Oh, I think they meant a little more than, uh, than what a lot of people took from them. Because what I took from them, as soon as I saw it, it wasn't just that, oh yeah, uh, Michael Crabtree just, he don't want to get into all of that. He don't want get, to get into all the what ifs, and um, which, which would be understandable. But I think it's more than that. And what I think it really is, it's competition. It's competition. Yes, I already know he got his deal. Yes, I know he's already on the team. But he may want to be the guy. He may, be wanna, he may want to be the only guy. He may be. He may want to be, only be the best wide receiver on the team. Uh, now, if Dez comes on board, not saying Dez be better than Crabtree, but Dez will certainly give him some competition uh, at the receiver position. And I felt like that was the alpha male, so to speak. Shout out to my boy JB Smooth. That was the alpha male in Crabtree saying, "No, I want this to be my team. I want me to be the num the only number one receiver that these dudes got." And I, I want it all for myself. That's what I felt like it was. I felt like it was just a competition in him screaming out. Or screaming out like, hey, I, uh, no, this is my show. There's, you ain't on this team, so I ain't even going to talk about you. But this is my show. And I don't want anybody to even be a part of the commercials. So that, that's how I felt about that one. I don't know if y'all felt the same way, but that's what it seemed like to me. But, I mean, we'll see what happens with it, though. I'm sure... Um, well, he really wouldn't have no choice if we were to sign Dez. He would have to get over it, if that's the case. I'm just saying, that's how I feel. I don't know if any, any of y'all feel the same way or any of y'all agree, but that's what it seemed like. Uh, exactly, chickens. I feel like Crabtree wants to be the only number one. I feel like he don't want to be a, he don't want it to be a 1A, 1B. Uh, he don't want Dez to take away from him eating. I feel like he, he just doesn't want that. But, hey, could be wrong, man. Never know. Never know. Um... Flacco, just to talk about Flacco a little bit, Flacco did mention how uh, he understood that it's a business. He understood that uh, if Ravens draft the quarterback early, he knows he got to get replaced someday. So I appreciated Flacco's comments on that. 
Um, so that was nice. I mean, what what can he say? Oh, I don't want them drafting a the guy because I'm I'm still here. I feel like it's disrespectful. No, they got to prepare for the future. And I'm sure, if, like I said, I think Flacco be watching the videos too. I think Flacco be watching the videos because I'm sure he knows that the Ravens after this year, his contract is not gonna make it. That contract's not gonna fly, man. It's not gonna fly after this year. No way. Because after this year being the first year where they can actually release him and get and, and, and not have to take too bad of a hit. I think it, like I said, I think if they do the post June first where they split it up between two seasons, if they split up the dead money, it would only be like a total of sixteen point five mil in dead money. So you could split that over two years. So that's like that's eight point two five mil in dead money for this year. That's nothing for them. They used to having so much more dead money than that. Um, so that's that's nothing for Ravens. So I think Joe Flacco knows that he understands the game. He understands the business. I mean, he's been on the, the great side of the business uh, since he's been in the league. Yeah, he played on his rookie deal, deal for four or five years, but then he got paid, and then he got paid again, um, and he's made a lot of money. So he knows how the game goes. He's been on the nice side of it. So I think after this year, uh, it ain't, he, ain't, he ain't gonna be on the he ain't gonna be on the nice side of things, man. But Flacco, he said all the right things today, um, especially about him getting with his receivers uh, by himself. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, but it's about action now, man. He said all the right stuff. So now it's about putting it together and, and making it happen, putting together that action plan, seeing what actually goes down if he is gonna get with his receivers and get with all of them how often is he going to get with his receivers i know he only got a limited amount of time or whatever but how much is he going to get with his receivers what are they going to do um is he really going to reach out to all of them because he got a little stable right now man because he got somebody just sent me a uh message i think it was my boy uh, oh also oh successful he said engraving you keep forgetting about uh tim white in the slot hey i ain't forget about him he just ain't made me made nothing for me to remember yet he got he got to prove himself. As I want him to do good just as much as y'all do, but he got to prove himself. He got to show what he's worth. And hopefully John Harbaugh and them don't stash him away with a thumb in, injury again. Um, Cause I'm sure that thing healed up pretty fast. But hey, who knows? I'm no doctor. I'm no expert. Uh, but we all know what he was doing, what they were doing when they put him on injury reserve. But um, I'm hoping for the best for him. Cause again, Crabtree, Brashad Perryman, John Brown. Chris Moore, Devier Posey, Tim White, Quincy Adeboyo. Um, who am I missing? I feel like I'm missing somebody. Who am I missing? Hey, I appreciate that, Corey. Who, who am I missing at the receiver position? If he balls out, he stays regardless. Who are you talking about? I feel like, did I say Perryman? I think I said Perryman. Yeah, I said Perryman. That was the second one I said. I feel like I'm missing somebody, but either way. Um... And, oh, and Tim White. So, there it goes. But, um, we just need more quality, man. And if Tim White can come in and be a quality receiver, hey, I'm all for it. I'll be rooting for the guy. I'll we'll be rooting for him. I'll we'll be rooting for him big time. But he got to prove himself first. So, he just got to show up. They did say Marshall Yonder was at the, uh, the team's, the workouts or whatever it was today. Um, so that was nice. Uh... And they say Marciano usually skips those. So that was cool that he was there. Alex Lewis was there. It sounded like a lot of people showed up. Alex Collins, Michael Kraft, it's not, it's Flacco, of course, RG3. It sounded like everybody was there, man. It's that, and of course, Eric Weddle and CJ Moses, because they had to talk to the uh, media. So it sounds like everybody sh showed up. So I'm sorry, I'm eating a Jolly Rancher. Um, it sounded like everybody showed up. So... With, with all them people showing up, it's like, man, are these dudes like really trying to get this thing together? Are they trying to right the ship? Because they know how the last two seasons ended, really the last three, well, the last the, the three seasons ago, the season was over before it even got started. But we saw how the last two seasons ended, and it wasn't pretty at all. It was ugly. It was disgusting. Um, made you want to throw up. For some of us, it actually did make us throw up. But... Um, I'm sure they they ready to get that bad taste out of their mouth, get back into the playoffs, make noise, and and make the Super Bowl, man, because that's what it's all about. It's all about winning. Um, if you don't win in the Super Bowl, then you fail. You fail. Um, so that's that. So we'll see how it goes, man. Uh, Ravens are already pursuing this, right? 
somebody asks, do you think Dez is interested in the Ravens? That's a good question. That's a great question because with the Ravens being as interested as they are and putting it out there publicly, that, wow, this, wow, what an idiot. Hmm. Some people are just idiots when they try. I don't, wow. Um, but anyway, I, I think some, some people, wow. I think some people when, I don't know, I feel like some people, depending on, and it's not for everybody, but depending on the car they drive, for some people that, that, that drive the super expensive cars, I feel like some of them just feel so entitled. Like, oh no, this is my lane. I, I deserve it. Even if you have the right of way, no, I'm taking it because I have a nicer car, I have more money, and da 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 da. But anyway, um, with as much as the, the Ravens are interested in Dez Bryant and they're making it publicly known, um, they, it doesn't matter if he ain't interested in them. Uh, if, if, if he don't want to go to the Ravens, all oh, this is not going to mean anything. This will just be a bunch of hype uh, for nothing, and it will be short lived. Uh, and then we'll, we'll all have to get over it. And that'll be that. Then we move on. And that'll be that. So, I mean, has this happened before where Ravens get all super interested in somebody and it's all this hype, but we don't even get them? Um, uh, like, like it is right now. I can't think of anybody right now. I, I remember some short hype. Like, there was some Jimmy Graham hype. Well, no, not really hype, though. There was some interest, but there wasn't. it wasn't like this. And the reason why this Dez hype is different from other hype, like Dez, like Allen Robinson hype, I mean, I can't even really say that because Dez is different because Dez was cut from his team, um, but he he was a free agent for a long time, and he has been a free agent for a long time. It's been like a week. It's been like a week, and he's still a free agent. So that's the difference between the Dez Bryant hype versus like an Allen Robinson, which it wasn't much hype. Uh, Jimmy Graham, which was a little more hype, but Jimmy Graham, those guys weren't free agents for this long. And with the Ravens actually having a chance, because uh, who is interested in Dez Bryant? That's the real question. Ravens obviously are. Uh, the Texans obviously are. Texans, I'm sure they have more money than us. Texans have a uh, younger team than us, young and upcoming team. Um, and I feel like if he had to choose between the two, Texans would look like the, the, the sexier pick between... Because think about it, Texans, Ravens, uh, Flacco, Deshaun Watson, um, their defense, our defense. Well, the defense, that's that's kind of tight right there because um, our defense is pretty good. Their defense is pretty good too, but they a lot of them got hurt. Um, but it's, it's as far as defense-wise, it's a toss-up. Offense-wise, it goes, it goes to the Texans. If I'm Dez Bryant and I look at both offenses, I'm like, man, Ravens offense been putrid and ugly for years. Uh, but they're uh, – their uh, their defense been decent, um, but if I look at if I look at Texans offense, man, they were killing it last year with Deshaun Watson. And I look at Ravens offense, they got this ten year quarterback, but they weren't doing nothing at the first half of last year. What 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 will make them different now? Um, so he could look at it like that, and that's just being straight up because Ravens offense was obviously ugly uh, for a long time. But um, so that's that's possibility. Also. Um, he could look at the uh, look at it geographically, like, hey, I'm I've been in Dallas for forever now, and if I go to Houston, what it's an hour or two away. I'm not even exactly sure how far away it is. So he could look at it like that, be like, hey, man, I'm I'm going right there, right up the street. So that's another disadvantage that the Ravens have. Um, but we'll see what happens. We can't do nothing but wait and see. That's literally the only thing we can do, is wait and see. Um, and I did, I did see something that somebody put in a, in a group chat uh, off of Reddit. So I don't know the, uh, the credibility of it, but they're saying that, um, oh, they're four hours apart? Okay, appreciate that. Great. Uh, they're saying that the Ravens are currently the, uh, the favorites via Vegas, uh, via the betting odds and all that to land Dez Bryant. That, I can't, I mean, that's like, uh, can't go with that because... The decision is Dez's. The decision is Dez's. I could see if they say Ravens are the most interested team right now, but as far as the highest likely to sign Dez Bryant, I don't feel like you can really do a Vegas betting odds on that because the decision is up to Dez Bryant. It's not like it's a, it's a football game and, uh, well, I ain't even gonna get into all that. Anyway, um, yes, Jay Rio, this is live. Uh, he said he didn't even notice that it was live, yes. What do I think about Davey at Post? I don't know what to think about him because I don't know. He ain't been in the NFL for a couple years. He was on the Texans when he was in the NFL. 
We, it's just a wait and see. I have the only time I'm gonna get to see him is in preseason. That's the first time I get to see him in years. Um, and I mean, we'll see how it goes. Because I'm not uh, like I'll be telling y'all. If I say it every year. Um, I'm not going to go by all that OTAs garbage. When they come out and they say, oh, man, this guy looks so great in OTAs. Oh, man, this guy's the best receiver on the Ravens. He's He's been the best receiver in OTAs. He's going to kill it this year. No, that's stupid. You're not even going against people that, you know, you're not even going against competition. You're going against your teammates. They don't want to hurt you. They don't want you to lose. They don't want you to do bad. Yeah, it is, it is kind of some competition because other guys trying to make the roster. But you're not even going against guys that are going against you you're going against your teammates that's why i don't go for all that ota stuff i don't listen to all that that's stupid it's stupid i i root for them guys i hope they do well in otas but i don't i don't buy into none of the hype remember last year the ota killer was brashaw perman oh man he's catching everything in otas oh man brashaw perman's beating jimmy smith oh man brashaw perman's killing all our cornerbacks oh man brashaw perman this brashaw perman that he came on and he sucked Last year, he had his worst year ever, even though it was his second year. Uh, he ain't been playing that long, but he, it was terrible last year. So you can't go off of all that OTA stuff, what they do in OTAs and what they do in practice and all that stuff. You can't go off of that because they're not even going against, uh, they're not even going against anybody but themselves, their own teammates. So don't buy into all that OTAs hype or whatever and all that mini camp and practice hype. Don't buy into all of that. Because it's not worth it to buy into all of it. If they did something in preseason, okay. If they doing stuff in the regular season, obviously. But preseason would be the first place where you might start buying into something. Who gets to start Collins or Dixon? Collins got that, man. He better have that. Do we have enough money for Dez? Yeah, he got enough money for Dez, man. I don't think he can ask for that much money. I don't think so. He can't ask for that. Well, I mean, he can. But I don't think people, anybody's going to give him that much money. They're not going to give him no crazy money. So... Give Marlon Humphrey, Eric Weddle, Tony Jefferson, Flacco a raise because since they've been recruiting days. Yeah, man. Rob Rose said Perryman is a bust, but Tim White and Chris Moore are both going to be great for us. Oh, I, um, I'm i still holding out hope for Perryman. Still holding out hope. Um, I think with more opportunities, he could do a lot better, but we'll see how it goes, man. There's the next Anquan. Uh, well, I hope in, in terms of that, you mean the next, uh, nice, the next, the next receiver. Uh, who left his previous team, uh, then comes to the Ravens and helps us get to the playoffs and get to the Super Bowl with us. I would love for him to be the next Anquan that way. What's up, King Swaggy P? Uh, what's up, William? Uh, any word on negotiations with Dez? No, no, no. Not at all, man. Not at all. Oh, man, I, I, we were just talking about you a little while ago, man. About your, your Tim White comment, man. Dez and Crabtree could be nasty, Ryan. You're right. Yeah, nothing, nothing about no visits yet nothing about no negotiation no nothing about anything yet yes i i agree william still need to go wide receiver in the draft oh you were here okay okay perfect all right i didn't know if you was here now what did crabtree say about Dez? he said that he's not gonna um they asked him how do you feel how would he feel about Dez bryant being on the ravens and he said he ain't gonna uh he ain't gonna even comment on that he's not gonna get into that because there's no point since he's not he said he only talks about people that's on his team right now and he's not gonna talk about somebody that's not even on the team because there's no point which is true. It's true. It's true. Dez was staying in the NFC East. Yeah, I, I saw the report that said that the Giants, I mean, he's interested in the Giants. But the Giants are interested in him. One, they got to take care of Odell Beckham Jr. Two, they still got Brandon Marshall. I wouldn't be surprised if they cut Brandon Marshall on and brought in Dez. Uh, but, then, but then the Ravens, they will probably get Brandon Marshall if the Giants cut him. And I don't know. I uh, I feel like Brandon Marshall and Dez Bryant are very similar, but I feel like Brandon Marshall's career has fallen off a lot more than Dez Bryant's has. But I feel like if Giants did that, if Giants got rid of Brandon Marshall to bring on Dez Bryant, then the Ravens would pounce on Brandon Marshall. And right now, if I first thought about that, I wouldn't be like, yay, 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 but we'll see. We'll see. If he goes to the Texans, he might be a second stringer. Yeah, he would be a. Uh, I feel like he would be like a one, uh, like a one C or a one D. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins is clearly clearly the number one receiver there. So Des Bryant could be like a one C or one D because I feel like at, on that team now they got a clear cut number one. Um, so Des Bryant would be like a one C or one D, maybe even a two A or two B. So yeah, um, we'll see what happens, man. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. So we all waiting.
We all waiting to see. They're going to the Giants and Redskins, not Baltimore, because he wants to betray Dallas Cowboys for cutting him. I mean, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, like I said, I can't do nothing but wait and see now. I like to have Dez push Crabtree to number two and Stokely and Smokey to number three. We can see. We'll see what happens. Rob Rose said he'll be ahead of Will Fuller. Now they're still going to have to get Will Fuller in the game now. Because, um, like I've been saying, Deshaun Watson has been making, he made that guy a touchdown monster, man. Will Fuller did nothing Did nothing last year but score touchdowns with Deshaun Watson. Did nothing but score touchdowns. Um, so, we'll see, man. We'll see. Dez and the Ravens got mutual interest in one another. I haven't seen that, but, I mean, if if I do see something about that, um, hey, you know we'd be on, we'll be on here talking about it. There's need to get past. There's some of the best got cut. He's no exception. It's a business. Not personal. Oh, yeah, he said there's need to get past it. You need to get over it. Move on. So, yeah, that that's a good point, too. Um, but I think he took it personal, uh, being that he's done – so much for the Cowboys, and he's been with them for so long. I mean, it would be hard for anybody not to take that personal. You've been, you've been with your business, you've been with your company, you've been with your team, you've been with somebody. Just period. Think about a relationship. Period. Whether it's work, whether it's uh, well, I, I can't say a, 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 a actual relationship like boyfriend, girlfriend, or husband, wife, something like that, because that is really personal. But think about it if it's if it's at work. Think about if 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 you at work, you've been with your company. For like 10 years or what what year was it was it what whatever just using that as an example you've been with your company for 10 years and then all of a sudden they say you know what you're making a lot of money your production has declined you still help us out but you know what we're gonna have to let you go my man we're gonna have to let you go and while and they may tell you hey it's nothing personal it's just a business decision because of the money you're making versus your production, we gotta let you go. Um, while you'll understand that that's a business decision, at the same time, you'll still wanna go show, you might go to the competitor of your company that you work for and be like, man, you know what? I'm gonna show these guys that I'm worth all that I was getting paid and more, or that I'm still one of the best people at my position in my business or whatever, and you may wanna go prove yourself. So you go jump ship to the company that's their competitor. So. I mean, we'll see what goes down with that, man, with Dez Bryant and where, wherever he lands. Uh, I don't really think it's going to be the Giants, though. Um, but if it is the Giants, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, if the Ravens get Dez Bryant, do you think they'll still draft the receiver? They'll still need to. They will still need to. I think WWE and WWE, WWE is better comparison. Oh, and WCW. That's another comparison. Uh, yeah, it's kind of another comparison, too, because there's one company to another. So, yeah, that's true. It's like Sony to Microsoft. Yeah, see, y'all coming out with all these good examples now. So, yeah, like that, man. Do you think he gets a prove-it deal with it? Uh, depends on where. Uh, Baltimore, I think, will give him a, a a deal that will be kind of both. Like, yeah, you're proving it, but at the same time, we know what you have done and what you can possibly do. I, I still say, like, one year, eight mil. Um, maybe one year, nine mil. Um, not a two-year deal. If it's a two-year deal, then... One of them deals where if you cut them in the second year, it's, it's small, uh, it's small implications on the salary cap. QC, what's up, Mr. Vikings himself? Um, no, Crabtree said that he said that uh, is they asked him how you feel about Dez Bryant, and he said that it ain't no point in talking about it because Dez Bryant is not on the team. He said I'm only gonna talk about people that's actually on my team. Um, who's the homie who took the one-year deal? You talking about uh John? I'm, I was about to say John Smith, John Brown, John Brown. Uh, doesn't Mike Wallace have to be a certain weight in his contract or something like that? Yeah, he gotta be um, under 250 pounds. By I forgot what the date is, but I'm like, man, that's so easy to get that money, man. Ravens have a collection of short-term rentals. We need long-term talent. That's true. They they always do it because they're not good at uh they're not good at um developing. Cause I don't, I honestly don't even. Now that I think about, now that I think about it, I mean, I thought about it for a long time, but I, I don't think it's a drafting thing. It's, I think it's more of a developing thing. Because there's no way, there is no way that every single receiver you draft sucks. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way that every single receiver that you draft is terrible, is a bust, never gets to that second contract, except Torrey Smith and Mark Clayton, and that's it. There's absolutely no way that 
99% of the, all the receivers you draft never make it to another NFL team. There's no way. There's no way. But well, who's who's the receivers that made it to another NFL team? The uh, I think Tannen Dawson went to the was it Tannen Dawson that went to the Jaguars or or uh, David Reed? One of them two. They both the same person. Um, Torrey Smith, Mark Clayton, and Michael Campanero since he just signed with the Titans. But our our receivers never make it to second teams. Those are the only three guys or four guys I can think of that made it to another team after they got drafted by the Ravens. Nobody makes it to another team. None of our receivers. They never do. They never do. Because it's not a drafting problem. Because like I said, there's, 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 it's, it's, it's almost impossible that every single receiver that you've ever picked Every single receiver that you... Oh, Travis Taylor with the Vikings. Travis Taylor. So five in how many years? Five in how many years? So it's almost impossible that 99% of the receivers that you picked, that you drafted, that they don't... Pro Bowl, all that, the Pro Bowl, when they say, oh, Ravens never drafted a Pro Bowl receiver. I don't care about that. I don't care about Pro Bowl. I care about just quality receivers. But it's impossible that all them receivers that you drafted, that all of them suck. It's not a drafting problem. It's development. It's development. It's development. That's it. It's development. It's development. Yeah, why don't we get another wide receiver coach? Ingram obviously ain't doing it. But how long has he been on the team for? Like, what, two years? He ain't been on here that long. It's, it's, I say hire the guys from the Steelers. I always said that. We're going to do a video on that too, by the way. So we're going we're gonna to save this for later. Because I know Speedy, Speedy Reedy wanted to do a video on this. She asked a question about us. We're going to do a video specifically on that later on. I might actually go do it right now. Um, but, yeah, Hobbs don't fire friends. He only hires friends, and that's it. He don't, never fire his buddies. Um, scale of 1 to 10, Dad's coming to visit. I say right now it's a 5 because we just don't know. We don't know anything. What's up, Jimmy? Jimmy Monroy? Um, we just don't know anything, so we'll see. Wait, wait for Fitzgerald to retire and hire him as a coach. You'll get some results and receivers. Hey, well, I mean, we'll see. I'm sure the first job he would go to would be with the Cardinals, though. I wonder if he'll keep doing his camps if he retires. Oh, yeah, that's a good question, man. It's the play calling, not the wideouts? What? The play calling for, how long has Baltimore been a team for? 21 years? The play calling for 21 years? Or however long they've been a team for? I forgot how long. No. No. It ain't, it ain't the play calling. Because it's been every single receiver except, you did mention Travis Taylor, Torrey Smith, Mark Clayton, and and David Reed or uh, Tannen Doss, whichever one of them it was. It's not the play calling. It's so much more than that. It's it's the developing. They can't develop wide receivers, and I can't even just blame it on Bobby Ingram though. But again, we're gonna save that for the for that video. We're gonna save that for the other video. He said technically like seventy years old because they were the Browns. Maybe it's the scheme. It's it's not just the scheme because the scheme's been a Schemes change with coaching. Schemes change with coaching. So, I mean, it's, it's more than that, man. Uh, if we get Dez, do you think we have a top offense? Yeah, if they can pick up where they left off at. Yes, I agree, young Lloyd. I, I wish he would make a decision. Um, but if he ends up choosing the Ravens and we have to wait a little bit, I don't mind. If we get Brian along with Brian and Crab, Joe has no more excuses. I think Joe ran out of excuses a while ago. But, yeah, this will definitely give him quality because he hasn't had quality most of the time or enough of the time so forget Martavius Bryant <laughs> oh man he gets signed this week hey we'll see I think it will be this week though because today is Tuesday stuff is starting to heat up for him a little bit let's see he said let's change coaches maybe next year Jacoby Jones what about Jacoby Jones man? 63 in here what well, man what leave a like on the video how come none of y'all click that thumbs up button I got 63 people in here, but only 33 thumbs up, man. Y'all click that thumbs up button. But yeah, we um, yeah, Joe does seem serious, Lord. But if coach is holding back the offense, but think about it. John Harbaugh has been the coach for, wow, he's been the coach for 10 years. That's crazy. I didn't even realize that. Coach John Harbaugh's been a coach for 10 years. That's a long time in this league, man. That is a long time in this league. Wow. Yeah, this will be his 11th year, right? That's crazy. I ain't even, wow, I ain't even realized that, man. This dude been the coach? 
This will be his 11th year. Wow. What'd you say, Jay? What can't be ignored? What'd you say? I missed it. Man. Oh, John and Joe are the common denominators in all of this. That's true. Uh, but, we, I mean, we still had the same owner. Still had the same GM. Don't forget about all, all of that stuff, too. Um, but our offense our offense has always been bad. Kind of off topic. I feel like our running back coach doesn't get enough credit. Look how much Alex Collins has developed and had monster seasons. You're right, man. You're 100% right about that. Graven, all that time, he still don't know that. Say all that time, and he still don't know an X from... Oh, man. They will either sign with the Saints, Packers, Patriots, or Texans. If you go to the Ravens, it'll be because of money. Okay, we'll see, man. He might sign with the Giants. I have a better feeling this season so far than I did all last year. Well, I mean, you will. You got plenty of reason to because this season hasn't even started yet. So, we can all be optimistic when the season ain't start yet. What will, what, what will you grade the Ravens free agent signers if they got theirs, Bryant? Uh, probably like a C. We've always had a running back. Just no wide receivers so outside of old free agents. That's true. The running game usually, usually is always on point. Two years ago it wasn't. But besides that, it's, usually the running game is pretty good. If it's another 8-8 season, they'll control all, delete the whole platoon. They should. They should. Did you see the video when Joe called out Cam Cameron for holding back the offense Super Bowl year? I, have, I know I saw it, but I don't remember it right now. Ravens ain't been the same since Ray Lewis left. Yeah, they been, they had sure have been soft. They sure have been. If this is Joe's contract, yeah, he got he he's gonna retire. He got what five kids, a lot of money. I mean, we'll see what Flag does, man. Can't wait to face the Rams in the preseason. Oh man, I, I told my boy who's a Rams fan. I, I texted him a little while ago. I told him I said this is the year where Crabtree getting his chain back, getting his chain back. Engraving. I told you this months ago, and you said no. You told me what, Andre? What did you tell me? What did you tell me, my friend? Ravens record for this upcoming season? Too early. Way too early. He said the microwave just stopped. Joe, the best QB we ever had, period. He is. That's still not saying much, though. That's like saying, oh, this this is the best. This guy is the best receiver the Ravens ever drafted. But, um, yeah, he has been the best QB that we've had. Um, I mean, it's kind of hard to compare him to Steve McNair, though, because Steve McNair was only here for a year, and he did his thing. But he can't. We can't really compare the two because Steve McNair was only here for one year. Flacco's been here for ten, um, so it's 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 hard to compare the two. What happened to the to the drink trade? What are you talking about? What's up, Cowboy X Factor? Anybody know how Packers cap space is? Bet they love to have Dez. I I thought I read I read the thing that said Dez said he it wouldn't feel right. If we get Dez, we should draft offensive lineman or defensive lineman for that first pick. I think uh, I still think wide receiver or 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 QB. Um, to pass rusher too, even though they say they're not gonna do that. Uh, but Terrell Suggs, he can't, he can't do it all year, man. He needs somebody to come in and, and take over for him, man. It's time. Hey, no problem, Cowboy X Factor. What happened to Oh, what happened to the Gronk trade? We still waiting. We still waiting. They said that he's gonna be traded before the season, so we'll see. We'll see. We're, we're waiting on that. If they stays free agency until the draft, do you think Ravens will risk and wait, wait for him, or will they pick? No, I don't think he's. I don't think he's gonna stay a free agent till the draft. Ravens are trying now. They want him now, so they're not waiting till the draft, man. I said Joe's making babies. He ain't got time for football. Um, Trey Suggs for Gronk. <laughs> this guy, man. Um, so yeah. Anyway, appreciate y'all. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Again, this engraving vids, and no, Suggs is a machine that broke down toward the end of the year last year. Love Suggs, but he's tired. He's old. He can't do it all year, man. He can't do it all year. So I appreciate y'all, though, man. We're going to do that video about the wide receiver coach. Um, We're going to do it. I'm going to do it now. I'll put it out later, but I'm going to do it now. Um, Well, I'll see how it goes, man. Appreciate y'all. I'm out, man. We're going.